The MCU is working on the new Fantastic Four film, which will include our favorite characters Susan Storm, played by Vanessa Kirby, The Human Torch, played by Joseph Quinn, The Thing, played by Evan Mas Bakrach, and dun dun dun, Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic. Aside from having exciting casting characters, Fantastic Four is also bringing what could potentially be the greatest threat yet to the MCU, even worse than Thanos or the Kang Dynasty. For much of the MCU, we could see how major characters are pulling from what's known as the Ultimates run of Marvel Comics. Examples of this would be Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury in Ways, and Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner. Because we know they've been pulling from the Ultimates run of comics, we have reason to be concerned about the presence of Mr. Fantastic in the MCU. In the Ultimates run, Reed Richards is driven to a life of of villainy after much tragedy and rejection, which is sad, but it also makes him a huge threat to the Avengers, especially when considering he has enough intellect to outdo Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. So with his incredible mind put to the worst possible use, we end up with another threat to the multiverse. Bad guy Reed Richards is called the Maker, which is not only terrifying, but properly assertive of his evil doing power. He seeks to destroy the multiverse and successfully destroys the ultimate universe, only to be taken out by Molecule Man on Earth 616, which is where the MCU takes takes place, before being spread as separate molecules to all different universes within the new multiverse. So not only does Mr. Fantastic's presence seem to start us on a path to the Maker, but multiples of multiverses we've already been multiplying to a fault. Regardless, the Maker's villainy is unmatched in the MCU, and as we approach the release of a potentially ultimate Reed Richards, we begin to forget the danger of Thanos and Kang Dynasty.